Hey guys, this is Kirov speaking and today in the second episode of Turmoil we are going to uh, take a look at how the game progresses and some of the design decisions the developers uh, chose to uh, go for and their consequences. A little bit of discussion here and there. Alright, let's see what is coming up. So we continue our campaign and we well, just got Daphne's saloon. So um, here you have some shady, shady people who can um, give you stuff like uh, no spilling fine and we will not drop the price below 0.7 dollars. Promise, but you would pay quite a bit for it. So uh, let's ignore those sh those fellows for now and just continue our game. So what do we have? We have 18,600 bucks again and the first thing we want to do is buy some new land. And let's see. So it turned out that this corner is really bad overall. So what I'm going to bet on is that this area here where they try to go because there's something they know about it. I mean, this one would probably be better. Been like next to 32, nah, not really. Uh, but this area right at the mountains might be pretty good, even though it is declining here. But you can see how quickly it declined here, and then now it's low. So, and here it's higher again. So uh, maybe it's just this patch of oil, and then there's this one. But I think there might be something at the mountains. So let me go over there. 2,000. Alright. And now we have plenty of bucks left to spend. And I think the best update we could buy right now is something for our horsies. And that would be size. That's really expensive though. Uh, we can't really afford this if we want to pay 2,000 bucks there as well to to go uh, to the fields. Um, but let's see what happens. I just buy this and now we go into debt. Yes, yes. Oh, I can't. Okay, then I have to go to the bank. So let's take a loan. And just 500 bucks. 21%? Wow, that's that's a bit steep, William. Don't you think? Nah, sir, this is rather appropriate. Yes. Okay. So now we have two thousand dollars, and let's go and get some oil. And they are spamming me again. All right, I can now upgrade all my wagons at once uh, by just pressing this button. But it costs seven hundred fifty, and I'm definitely not going to start with this. Also, the game length just uh, increased to its maximum length, which is the normal standard length of one year. All right, so far, so good. And uh, now we need to get our hotkeys ready. Dowsers are coming out. One, two, three. And wagon, one, two, and rig is ready. So this is our starting point. And now, Please find oil. Right, but um, this is a good time to talk about what we... Oh, this is nice. Um, what the consequence of this polygon style is. They chose... Oh, shit. Uh, they chose for, for the ground, you see here. And that is uh, a little bit unfortunate, I would say, their choice. Because you can see the, uh, the ground is made up of some triangles. And those triangles uncover as you um, like bore through them. And that means that, oh, first I have to sell some oil here. Like this. Um, that means that the uh, uncovering of ground is uh, different depending on where you dig. It's not consistent. Oh, what does he want to do? Move quicker. Yes, we want to um, time accelerate a little bit. So this is the last feature edit, I think. And like normal gameplay feature edit. And now they should shut up. 
let's see how it's going. This price is going down, this price is going up. So let's all sell over there. And we place another rig here. So what this means with the ground and the tiles, you can see all the different tiles here and the triangles. And that means you always want to place your rig to be optimal and your pipes along the seam because then it uncovers both the left one and the right one. Like this. All right. Those horses had some troubles. Let's sell more oil. Can't afford anything right now. Speed up, guys. Yeah. Like this. All right. So now you see I'm boring right along the seam. And this allows me to uncover both sides. And that is almost always the optimal way of doing things. So... This makes it, well, you could say that adds a little bit of skill to the game. I would say it breaks the immersion a little bit because ti these tiles are random. They don't have much to do with the game, core game mechanics themselves. So what you would expect is that there is a vision radius around them and they are uncovered in that way. But uh, this is not the case here. So whenever you want to dig, uh, in here. Oh, whoa, they find two things. Maybe a rig or 300. Yeah, I can't get that cheaply down there. So let's let's just pump it over there. Um, and upgrade this one. And buy some more horses. We are going to need all of them anyway. So this one is going up in price, I think. There's nothing there. So you can see I took this pipe exactly to the edge of one of those. And now if I drill down, I will uncover both of them while I'm going down, both left and right. Yes, there we go. Still didn't find anything, but that's another story. And if I, ah, there it is. You can see this little, little thing over there. So now let's do it the wrong way. Which is like, uh, let's go like this, in the middle of two. And when I'm drilling down here now, oh, there's oil. All right. So if I drill down straight here, you see I only make those disappear, which are right, which the pipe goes right through. And that's far less good than this viewing range. Here, this is basically a width of uh, of two, and this is a width of one. So you want to be digging like this, along the seams of the polygons. And I think this is a little bit immersion breaking. It's not really like, oh, oil diggers have to always um, dig along the seams. Like what seams? Uh, they don't really exist in real life. Now uh, let's build a few silos because this game is a little bit longer. So we can definitely wait for better pricing. And we don't have that upgrade yet, but we could just dig over there. Ah, this is good enough. We can buy a new rig. We placed it correctly there again. Let's dig down and uncover both sides of the seam. Nice pocket there. Looks solid. Let's upgrade this one. This is almost empty. There's still something here found which we don't know about. Uh, is So this one is this one. Let's see if it's to the side here somewhere. Because they, they do go wrong a little bit at times. And you can plan ahead your movement right there. Uh, that is all good. It doesn't seem to be on this side. So if we go further down here... Ah, come on, where is it? So maybe it's underneath this one, on this side. As you can see now, the, the ground has very, that's a very nice solution to the, the problem of um, how you uncover more things without being in your face. If you compare this to the start of the game now, like the look of the map, you see that we have uncovered so much more ground. Oh, there's a tiny pocket. Oh, is it tiny? It's tiny. We still didn't hit it. Arrgh. 
Alright, that's bad. So, I think we need the big upgrade here, 330, just to be sure to empty that one out. And we might want two more dowsers, or let's go three, just to be safe here. Come on, pump it, pump it. Drill the grill. There we go. So now it takes one hole from there and one full one from there, and that is almost filling this bigger pipe. And let's see if they can find a little bit extra over here, which we can utilize for this rig. Um, anyway, so what I would have done is a simple pixelated solution to this instead, where you uncover pixels instead of polygons. And each pipe has a certain discovery radius and that discovery radius would then be uniformly and not have any weird borders where the mechanics are suddenly working differently because why for example isn't this polygon lit up with information uh, well, what is going on here no more oil left. Ah, right. No, um, that is one of the mechanics which is now coming in. You can end the level before you um, your lease ends and that pays you back a little bit of money. It's not that significant, but you get a little bit of bonus score. And now we see the prices are falling pretty much there again. That is looking good. Those pockets here are pretty small, so we should be able to get them emptied with just the simple piping we have here. And those dowsers don't seem to find anything. They... Yeah, fuck. Uh, looks like I spent $300 on nothing right there, and this is all the oil that is left. Of course, this doesn't really mean that this is all the oil that is left, but they, that the remaining oil is either not there, uh, like there is no remaining oil, or it is so far down that my techniques of finding it are insufficient. So if we had a uh, higher dowser level, level 3 dowsers, they go all the way down. Um, like you see here now, we are almost... We are probably almost at the bottom of it. There's still a little bit more to come. But you remember these two being basically at the bottom of the screen before, and now they are not. And um, the terrain just moves up very, very slowly and uncovers new ground. So there might be pockets down here which our dowsers simply cannot see. So now let's me, let me just speed up the game, and this is just holding this button and it speeds through and the sales prices are horrendous these pockets are pretty bad so let's just turn this off and see if we can empty both of these get a little bit more out there and wait for some better price to sell the very rest of it and one yeah it's slowing down as you can see and let's load up all of them and ship them over and then we can still end our lease early it seems now we don't seem to get all the oil out of there maybe should have upgraded the the piping a little bit but now it's too late anyway so let's just speed this one through and now it's empty. So now we can just... Oh, have they sold all oil? That's the question. No, he has something more. No, he didn't. And he? There, he had one buck. And he has something more? No? Five? Six? Alright. So let's end this early. And... Stop level. There it is. Yes, okay, you can see... <laughs> There was one, one, one tiny little pocket there. Ah, uh, we didn't get all the oil. So, uh, let's see. What more is there? Uh, yeah, there is room for improvement. So let's buy lots of tips. That is a, a pretty neat mechanic. Although, 
One question I have about this, a design question for you. Mayor's tips. If you have tips in the game which should help new players, you would want them to be helpful to new players uh, and not make their game more difficult. But if you have to buy these tips with money in the game, that would to me mean that it automatically makes the game a little bit more difficult while you also are learning a little. Uh, I don't know if that is the best design decision. Um, so if we buy a tip, those tips are usually pretty good. So uh, pipes don't reach, uh, don't have to reach the bottom of the oil patch, so you can just use them, like just touch the oil patch and it will empty out. So that's a, that's a very uh, good thing to know, but that's more something you would expect to be in a game manual. And the game manual you usually don't pay for with in-game cash. It's a weird mechanic. I like the looks of it, but I mean, those, those hints also become more expensive the further down you go. Obviously, those are then for um, harder levels and so on. So that's not where 20, 25 isn't much. It's very little indeed. So it's basically a token price. But why is it there at all? Like, do you want to provide some kind of threshold for people to, to buy into this? Or like, why is it there? I, I don't quite get it. It's, um, it's thematic, yes, but does it really fit in? Yeah, I, I stop talking about this now. So, um, some some very decent tips in there and explanations of how the game actually works. So, there is important information in there if you haven't uh, been on the forums or checked the Wikipedia for this stuff. Uh, I would expect this to be somewhere else than hidden behind some Maya tips. All right, let's buy a new piece of land. And we see... We only had a 29, so it actually doesn't improve over here. Now this seems to be the last field which has any significant amount of oil. This one over there. So let's see if everyone is going there. Uh, basically yes. So we could try to bid more there and just um, make sure that we get 37 it looks like. 37, uh, maybe 38. And that is worth more than a 34, maybe? Uh, or we could get for cheaps a, yeah, well, we don't know, 28. But 28 is, is very, very bad. Now, uh, let's bid for more here. Yes, yes. Ah, very good. Okay, we only pay 4,000. And those 2,000 extra should be fine because we can extract more out of it than uh, what we paid for here now. This is a really neat, simple gameplay mechanic. It's almost a bit reminiscent of board games, where you have a quick uh, player interaction and it is a um, risk-reward thing as well. There is a compromise you have to strike. Like, do I want to pay more and potentially get out much more? Or do I want to play it safe and, play, uh, and pay less now, but then have to um, suffer through a patch which probably won't give me as much cash? It's a really cool mechanic. Super simple, but effective. This, of course, will be much better with real players than with AIs, which you sometimes think are a little bit um, off the mark. She just bought two updates, depth and width, and we can check the upgrade spectrum right now. You see, we are doing pretty well here. And let's have a look at what we could buy. So now we are ready to go. We have to plan in 2000 bucks for going there and now, let's see, what do we have in the workshop? We could go to depth 3. This means our dowsers find all oil there is potentially in the map. That is very useful. We could go for a mole, which also can always go to depths which are super deep, but they only uncover one polygon at a time. And it only does so for six polygons, I think, the starting mole. 
uh, without any upgrades. And then it goes up to 10 or 15 in the higher stages. It's pretty expensive, but uh, it's a nice scatter shot at the level, so to say. And they only cost 100 as well, um, if I'm if I'm remembering correctly. At least in the early access version, uh, far far back, like two, three months, four months ago, three months ago, um, that was the case. All right, um, let's see what more do we have. Stable. So we could upgrade the speed, which is really important when you have high flow, or the herd size, so that we can have 25 instead of 15. That I don't like that much. Uh, the counter, which just counts your horses, that's a really hard, really bad counter considering that potentially you could just have, like, hi hire a guy which is uh, a little bit um, of a low-class worker and you probably can, uh, at those times, get off with just paying him, um, like, a few cents a day to do that job, if even that a few cents were quite a lot of money. I mean, you don't go around every day and buy a barrel of oil for like uh, half a dollar, right? So, uh, anyway, this is not that interesting right now. Let's see what the factory has. We could go to um, Wit Free, but for that... Nah, now we have the horse upgrade too. I think then it is best if we discover oil deeper down as well. So we go to Depth Free. And this means all oil will be uh, visible and that potentially opens up a little bit of a bonus at the end as, as well. If you empty the level of all oil and you have discovered all oil, then... Oh, yes, or any depth, right. Uh, then you will get a bonus um, for... Depleting and selling all oil, you get a bonus of 1,000 each. So that is uh, a considerable amount. That's usually 5 to 10% of your profits. So he found something over there. Now we place our rig on the seam because of weird game mechanics. Or we place it right in the middle on a seam. Because now they have found something. And we dig there. And we dig... Oh, that's bad. Uh, let's dig over there. And we ignore this guy for the moment. Oh, let's see. Oh, there's nothing there. Let's dig down a little more here along the seam. Uncovering this bit. Yeah, perfect hit. And we go here. The prices here are terrible right now. And this is also a nice hit. Uh, but we do have to sell something. So let's do that. And the price is rising really quickly right now. That means that it's most probably shooting pretty high. So what do we do about the guy over there? Uh, first of all, I think we hire a few more of those guys to see where the rest of the fields are. And then we can uh, place the oil rig a bit better for the next one. There's another one there, which we can grab via this branch. And one over there, which we also can grab from here. This is a just potential one-time upgrade, though. So let's see. We can dig there and then decide on size after that. They are finding lots of oil here. That's good. So we dig down here. And we dig down here, because there seems to be lots of oil. Um, yeah, that may, may be at any depth, though, so that can be a bit deceiving. There we have found one. Very good. And is there something over here, too? Uh, not so far. The uh, sales price is amazing. Um, and let's upgrade this one. And how do we do over here? This is worth worthy of a new rig, we place it on the seam and dig down and see if we can spot some of that right away. No, they have found something which is a little bit deeper it seems. Oh, come on. There it is. I can see this little dot over there. 
So let's dig over there. Yes, found it. And now we definitely want to sell over there. We need more cards though. As now we are pumping with free single barrel. <laughs> free single barrel carbs. And this one, where could this one be? Let's start branching off here and try to find it from this seam onwards. Like that. And let's stop selling and fill up a few silos. Ah, don't have enough money for the other one. So now we have to stop um, digging for a while. Or we sell at shitty prices. Ah, oh, this is now climbing really fast. That's very good. So let's go and sell there because it takes a while for them to all be filled up. It should be a good price once they start selling. This is another good point, by the way. Why the hell do you need a counter for your horses if you can just hold this button and put it up and see the number of horses you have? Ed, why would you pay 5,000 for that, especially that early in the game? I can see it as a um, quality of life feature, which shouldn't cost you much. It should be more part of the UI uh, per default. And don't really know why the counter is there, either there or, well, it should be there for, for everything. But um, why you have to pay for that and why it's so, uh, coming so early in the game, why it's offered so early. So we bought all the horsies. Let's see if they can still fill up a little bit. And sell all the oil at a still reasonable price. I should have done that much earlier. So I'm wasting quite a bit of profit right now. Um, but maybe that saves me from building lots of silos. So now we shut it down. That's just ridiculous. So there's still oil here, he says. Where is that oil? I hope it's not a tiny pocket there. Now if we dig down with this one, straight down, see if we find some pocket. There, there it is. All right, it's a tiny pocket. And we can go to it from here. Why do I do this, you ask? Like, why from there? Well, that's because then I only have to upgrade one pipe, one short pipe, in order to extract both of them equally quickly. If I go this way, then it takes longer for that to happen. And now I need to definitely empty my silos into that one. Very good. So he still has a little bit of oil somewhere. And let's see if we find it on this side. Yes, we do. Very good. How deep is this? Ooh, that is pretty deep. So what we can do now is just to upgrade all of them and be happy. I think we do that, even though it's expensive. We could also have just continued this one and dig down there and then pump with two single ones and just update this one. The price would be 200, would be cheaper, but also a bit slower. Right, so let's place down a few more dowsers and see if they find more oil. Yes, they do. Ah, oh, branch limit reached. So branch limit reached, so we have to continue on from this one. And let's go over there. And then down. And he has found something as well. Hmm. How deep would that be, is my question. If it's up there, that's not very helpful. And I can have another branch over here. And then dig down. It's probably, probably pretty far down. So I'm going to try to be efficient with this one, just make it long. And stop selling over there. Sell over here. Like, instead of having a counter for your horsies, there should be just hire an accountant 
which makes them sell at the respective highest price or something. That would be a much more reasonable thing to do. Oh, we missed the seam. Now, this is a good example of how ridiculous the system is. Like, now we have slightly, ever so slightly missed the seam and we see basically nothing into one of the directions. So, now, let me correct that. So where do I see... There's the seam, so... Let's go there. And now we uncover a whole lot more. Yeah, that is a good comparison. Like, why... Why do you do that? That's stupid. Right. Let's go in there. It's a tiny pocket, it seems, but better than nothing. Ooh, we are selling at stupid prices again. And I'm not paying attention. 4th of September. Pumping good. There was more oil here somewhere. And this lane is empty too, so we can pump this field, whatever it is. Oh, there it is. Uh, oh, it's a big one. Is a pretty big one. Let's pump over there and get this one rolling. Yeah, medium size. Very good. And there's still this one going somewhere. It still hasn't gone away. Well, here we are on the seam at least, so we should be able to find it. And then we can go over from here to this one. Oh no. I've missed the seam. There it is. All right, got that one. And that is not pumping at maximum speed. Oh, well, this one is, but this one isn't any longer. So now, why is this one going so slowly? Oh, now it's pick picking up. That's good. This one is empty. Now we have a lot of good stuff over there. Maybe upgrade that one and just go for it. Like, fill up the wagons with oil, and now they should be able to empty them much quicker. Yes, look at all those profits, and look how this silo is being sucked dry. Yes, I like it. Alright, this is all looking pretty good, so I think we have struck a pretty big oil patch here. Overall, this level had lots of oil, and our profits are just brilliant so far. Uh, we stop selling here and see how much more good prices we can get. Uh, left ink is coming up in price, and it's November already, so I'm just going to sell everything I have. We're definitely not going to be able to empty all the oil pockets. This is just going to slowly. We should have upgraded something here, but then again, that's pretty expensive. This would be around 500 bucks just to get this upgrade, and I don't know if we would five uh, if we get 500 dollars worth of more oil out of it, especially with this one limiting us. Um, with this one being the limit, then we could have saved the 120 there. Ah, oh, nice. This one is empty. This one is empty looking all good. Now it's just this one which is slow. So let's speed through the last portion of it and sell the remaining oil at pretty good prices. Well, if I chose the right one to sell it at, then uh, that would have been better. There it is. Ah, we almost made it. Almost. That pocket didn't have much more in it. Um, pretty average level. Probably around like, yeah, I would, I would guess like 30, 35 in uh, field size. Uh, let's take another look at the graphs and the prices. And here you really see the sinusoidals and how they um, overlap to create or interfere would be the correct term, how they interfere to give you the final curve. And yeah, pretty nice spikes, especially this one at the end, which I completely missed. Right, so let's get back into town. And we made a huge profit. 
So they still don't have any upgrades, which is pretty weak. And now we have to see what more we could get. And that is another discussion, I would say. Like how do you value and design your upgrades? Um, like this upgrade, for instance, and this upgrade, those are both new ways of discovering oil, and that is an excellent upgrade to have. And upgrades to existing technologies are also pretty interesting if they actually add something to it, and they do. Um, like the depth thing for the dowser, you could run with like your starting ability dowser and discover, always discover quickly the first oil fields and use them such that um, your dowser finds you the shallow fields, like the, those which are the oil patches which aren't far down, and then you use either the scanner or the mole for the others. So you would not want to buy any upgrades for your dowser for the depth. And that is interesting, a mechanic, I would say, because uh, that allows for various gameplay styles and optimizations. I could just have the, the basic dowser and uh, right from the start let him find the first oil patch and then send out when when your dowsers are when you hire more dowsers to find oil patches and they walk out of the field that then means there is no more shallow oil left so you only have to look deeper down so that is some interesting information which comes out of this kind of meta gameish thing of uh, how these work a uh, very good choice in design there to have different depths for your dowser but not for the mole and not for the scanner either. The scanner is just, as the price would suggest, really OP almost. And it's essential, I would say, for, um, for levels which have a lot of oil just so that you can plan ahead very well. So, uh, otherwise you can never deplete oil, all the oil efficiently. Let's see what more factory stuff we have here. Um, with each map, uh, we are advancing towards new obstacles in your digging and new features are coming into it. That makes it interesting. What I mean with that is you have these four regions here. Like this, these are the plains, this is the desert. No, I just think this is the grassland or whatever. Um, and these are something else, like the, the, the plains or steppe, or, and this is the tundra. Um, anyway, what is this one is the easiest one. Then this one has rocks which are in the way. And this one introduces you to um, natural gas, I believe. And this one then introduces you to a, an entirely new gameplay mechanic, which is the thermal expansion of existing gas pockets. It's pretty cool, um, but complex. So there is more coming to the game. Uh, it is in the game, but once we have cleared out this map, that is next up. And we have to play two more rounds because there are eight more spots available. Well, let's see what people are bidding on. Uh, well, what are you going to do, right? There's, there's not much good oil spots left, so... Yep. Um, this one or this one, I don't really care. I mean, it's, it's 30. So, let's see what we get. This is a part of the game which where I feel the pacing is somewhat off. And that is when you have your technologies research which you need for this level and then it's just with the existing stuff grinding it out and to grind it out let's see what more we need um do we want size three uh better timer no, size three is handy especially if you are hooking up many pipes and we are going to need it at some point anyway and the size three same thing there so let's just buy it and our upgrades are looking pretty good compared to the competitors. Right, so let's dig. Yep, 2000. And Dowser Central and Wagon Wagon. 
<laughs> you see, the gameplay doesn't change that much, at least on the on the plains or whatever these grasslands are. Uh, the first first part of the map is called. Uh, it's pretty much the same. You have seen everything you could possibly see happen here, and now we are playing two more of these. Oh, oh, there's a lot of it. Of course, these are randomized, so it's kind of interesting every time. But um, yeah, it also gets old after a while. And this repetitive nature will not go away if you play the game optimally. And that is... It's a shame. And what are, what do I mean with this? Like, play optimally. I, from what I have discovered so far, like, optimal play would be... Oh, no, we missed it just about. So let's dig there. And this one further down. And sell it over there. At least we hit this one right away. Um, so if you buy your upgrades right away and then and you're doing so well, I mean there's no real difficulty in this I would say, uh, if you do, then do it so well that you have enough cash saved up for when you get to the next map to right away buy the new technology you need for the new hazard which is uh, which is um, which you're confronted with, then uh, there's not that much to it. Then I mean, then you play basically six. What is it? Six times, six levels um, before the map run, runs out of spots to uh, like land leases, um, and nothing really happens then. You just gather more cash and buy shares, which hasn't started yet this comes from map uh, like region number two so this is a mechanic which is introduced a little bit later and then you have to to juggle uh, your priorities from there but um, yeah it's it's not that appealing at least not to me oh this seems to be a bit... the core gameplay mechanic though and what you're seeing here like the digging and finding new stuff that is pretty exciting and it's a, a core, the core gameplay loop is pretty good but I think it is at the same time a little bit too repetitive at the moment with how the game overall is laid out when you have played through the game once you don't feel the need of playing it again anytime soon so yeah, it's it's hard to say if it's stretching it a little bit too thin with the features if I would have um, if I would have liked the game to be a little bit shorter overall and it's not, it's not that it's long it's like maybe four hours three and a half hours four hours of play for one campaign and you can speed through it if you're if you're competent uh, unlike me There we found a nice big oil patch. I think what I'm going to do is to upgrade uh, some of these. There's another one there. Let's go over there too. Down to a seam and then straight down. And this guy still hasn't found anything. Hmm. Still no oil here. Let's see if it's all the way down. Nope, can't find it. There it is. It's a very small pocket it looks like. But now we want to upgrade a little bit. And have some silos too, because this doesn't go well. Yes, we know. Third level, I just upgraded. Thank you, Fred. Uh, this. Let's place a last dowser. Because I think one walked out to the side. But maybe some new oil pockets have appeared in the meantime. You never really know. I, or at least, I, I'm not sure about this game gameplay mechanic, how that plays out. 
if um, the pockets need to be visible for him to find them or if he just can find pockets which also are below the current screen level. Um, this high seems to be pretty low, so better sell a little bit of oil now. Don't know how high this one will go. This looks also pretty low. Ah, oh, this was a bit unfortunate. Left ink went up to 91 only. That means... Like my big prediction is that the next high of both of them, this was a low high we just had here, and this was a low high we just had there, that the next high will be a really high high uh, for both of them because the uh, sinusoidals are uh, interfering in that way. That we um, had a destructive interference now with one of the maxes and that means that it probably will be constructive in the next time around and there is still enough time i think to be for that to occur in december at least i hope that because our silos are freaking full now that is one neat thing by the way that um once you have upgraded the size of your wagons then your you can use them as pretty good storage too so now we're getting above one here. It's not rising that quickly, but uh, I think we have to start selling because our carts are so slow. Oh, that wasn't a very good high there. Yeah, just get rid of it. The, the big highs are not coming in this time. They are too far away. This one is also again dropping. So it was a double bad high. And then the next one after that would be huge. Now let's take a look at the uh, sign of soils after this is all done. And sell it all at a reasonable price at least. That's what the big carts are there for. Just to quickly get rid of all the shit. And there we go. And there really was not much oil at all. <laughs> uh, we did a pretty good job, I think. 21,000 out of this little isn't too bad. So let's take a look at left-right price. Oh, that looked pretty bad. Yeah, you had this uh, constructive... Oh, the, overall the prices were... the amplitudes were just much smaller this level. Hmm, pretty bad. So, yes, uh, not a good profit to get from this one overall. That's unfortunate. Uh, but we have one more to play before we move on to the next region. So let's see what uh, crumbs are left over and uh, under the table right now. Oh, we only had 28. Yeah, that was pretty bad. He's taking that. They're going for this one? Why are they outbidding each other? I'd rather take the more or less guaranteed 29 over here than a 20 seven or something over there so let's go there he's going there and yeah okay everyone has found a place and let's go and i will speed through this one because there's nothing new here and uh let's see sped up version of digging for oil not gold oil
And there we have it. Almost, almost succeeded in depleting all oil. Well, I got the bonus for that, but uh, not selling it because it still was in my pipes. So uh, there we have it. <clears throat> A pretty big profit turned, even though uh, the circumstances weren't perfect. So now we are off to the desert, the second region. And with that, I think it is a perfect time to end this episode and keep the rest for a final one. All right, hope you enjoyed and see you guys next time.